I never thought I would be crying on the internet, but I just am feeling so defeated and I want to feel like I'm not alone. This woman from my school got engaged today and of course that's amazing, like so happy for her, but it just highlights the fact that like I've never had a boyfriend at all. And I'm like, I'm almost 30 years old, like, when is this shit gonna happen for me and like i don't know how you can go almost 30 years of your life see all these people pass you by never have a boyfriend which is actually ast astonishingly amazing to me i cannot believe say whatever you want okay she does look a little bit like jay leno that could or could not be a bad thing i don't know jay leno in my opinion is a great uh, American talk show host, and I personally love his car collection. I think that he should live till 150. But it's probably not the best thing to be said that, you know, you look like Jay Leno. But regardless, there are plenty of things that a woman such as herself could do to increase her desirability in the dating market. And one of those things could most definitely be losing weight. Um, as she obviously says right here, dating as a plus-size woman is hard, not hard as fuck, not gonna lie. But... Oftentimes, I don't think it actually has anything to do with them being plus size. I think it oftentimes has to do with the mentality that they use to approach these situations. To look at another person getting married and then to think like, oh man, when is it going to be my time? Put in work! Put in work! Stop trying to make it seem like it's an anomaly for people to be married or be in relationships just because you have never been in one. It's not impossible, okay? I would consider myself an average looking individual and I've been in, I would say, three Three actual relationships in my life that have lasted a pretty long amount of time, okay? It's not impossible. There are plenty of ways to meet other people. I'm sorry that you're so ungodly levels of attractive because you think, to be honest, I don't even think she looks that bad. I mean, her face is in the shape of an anvil, but it's okay. There are plenty of dudes out there that can, will, will totally vibe with you. I'm sure you have a great personality, but you need to put in work, okay? What are your standards? Like fucking nines and tens? What do you like want a guy that makes six figures and that's eight feet tall? Who are you like, looking for? The jolly green giant? Who are you looking for? I'm, I genuinely want to know. How did you make it to nearly 60 and never have any type of relationship with a man? That's incredible. That's insane. I can't believe it. You're a woman. It should not be this difficult, okay? Like, leave it up to the dudes that, like, think that women shouldn't poop. And, you know, I don't know. Like, they think that women should be, when they queef, it's like uh, Rice Krispie treats or something like that. I don't know. Regardless, dude. Like, put in some work. Actually make yourself more desirable instead of complaining on the internet and crying about how your friends are getting married and you're just sitting there depressed and lonely because you are fat and you're not doing anything about it. Just lose some weight. 30 years old, like, when is this shit gonna happen for me? And, like, I'm fat. I know I'm fat. People want to have sex with me, but... Which is not a flex, by the way. Like, it doesn't matter. Look, okay? It's great that people do want to have sex with you, which is, you know, it could be a great thing if you if you want to exercise that particular ability. But most of the time, it's like a whatever thing, especially if you're a girl. Like, dudes will want to have sex with you regardless of what you look like. You can literally look like a mummified foot, and dudes would literally be beaten off to that shit. Guaranteed, 100%. I mean, I remember literally when I was, like, 14 years old, and I played GTA 4, I remember literally beating off to like those polygon boobs in the strip club, okay? It's not my brightest moment in my life. It's not something I choose to talk about willingly, but I'm willing to do that because I know that it's like important to, to, to say this stuff, right? But it's, it's important for you to, to look at this situation in a very, very, I forgot what we were talking about. Like man. I'm fat, I know I'm fat. People want oh, yeah. People want to have sex with you. It's it's like whatever. Guys will have sex with like cardboard boxes, dude. Guys have beaten off to women's ankles before. Like having sex with an actual real world woman is an actual like beautiful thing compared to beating your meat for your entire life, having beat off blisters on your shit. You know, I don't know. For me, it'd be like rug burn. You know, having, having the ability to look at a lotion bottle and think, I wonder if I could slide one into that real quick. Or... Maybe you're so down bad that you slid it into like a, ch a chicken leg or something. There are plenty of dudes out there that have done terrible, disgusting things with inanimate objects. And it's, it's, a, it's a common thing. Why would you think that your vagina is anything lower than those things? Of course, your vagina is going to be like a million times better than any of that stuff. So 
having sex is like nothing. It's okay. I, I don't know why it's never a flex for people to go, oh, guys want to have sex with me, but they don't want to date me. I know that's easy though. That's like, whatever. Why would I buy the, why would I buy the cow when I'm getting the milk for free? It's the same mentality there. They don't want to have, they don't want to date you because they don't look at you as a potential candidate, but having sex is like nothing to them. Having sex for most people is like literally nothing for all of time. Women have always had the option to have sex with literally any guy. Okay, it's just a little bit more obvious nowadays because we have dating apps. It's gonna happen for me and like, I'm fat. It's gonna happen for you when you put in the work. I know I'm fat. People wanna have sex with me, but no one has ever like courted me or like taken the actual time to get to know me. And you also gotta understand too, in this modern day, in this modern day of dating, men are nowadays are incredibly antisocial because we have social media. So like dudes below the age of, I would go as far as to say 30, maybe have almost zero to no in dating interaction or like public peace, public speaking skills or having just one-on-one -on -one communication with people, especially not women. A lot of dudes um, nowadays think women are very intimidating and they think the thought process of uh, talking to a woman is just like, it's out of their realm. It's, it's incredibly far-fetched. Also, how many dudes nowadays are just chronically beating off all day long? Because I'm gonna let you know right now, there are urges that men get, and I've had these two obviously, where you know, you might be in a scenario where you're with a woman and she goes, hey, let's like do some stuff. And you're like, eh, I don't, sure we can do that, but I just really think maybe if I beat off real quick, I don't really have to do this for you or I don't have to like, we don't have to have sex. Sometimes it's just easier to beat off real quick because for dudes, I know it's not the same for women. I know women can bust nuts like five, six, seven, eight, nine times in a row. But for dudes, it's like a one and done type of thing. So if we bust it real quick, we're good for like nine hours after that. We're probably not even thinking about sex at any moment. I remember, do you know how many times that I've, I've been with the, I'm not bragging. You know how many times I've been to a, with a woman and then I busted too quick and she was like, let's keep going. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. You got to go back to school, you know? You got to pay off these student loans. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's, it's not... We got to stop doing that. And she's like, but look how wet I am. I don't care about that. What is it? What are you talking about? This has nothing to do with that. Okay. And that's, that's what it is for most of the guys. Like, it's just where we stop thinking about it. Give us like 30, 40, 50 minutes to build it back up. And even at that 30, 50, 30 to an hour minute mark, we're probably not going to be as peak capacity as we once were. So it's different for guys and it's different for girls. Right. But one thing that you have to understand, okay, is that if you're sitting here and you're comparing and contrasting like, oh yeah, I can, I forgot what we were talking about again, dude, hold on. But no one has ever like- Oh yeah, like most guys nowadays have no interactions with women and most guys are beating off chronically. Most dudes think the idea of talking to a woman is far-fetched. So you have that problem, like organically speaking, most dudes are transitioning from real world women to pornography and in some cases, even AI generated women, which is really, really crazy. But it's, it's if it's the easier outcome, if it's easier and it requires literally nothing, all it requires is like, I guess, an internet connection. You don't even need, you don't need any social skills. Like if it ain't broke, don't fix it type shit. So when I see women going like, why don't guys like approach me? Why don't guys like take me on dates? Why don't guys do this? That's the reason. It's like guys just don't have, it's not valuable to them anymore because they don't, they don't find women as attractive as they once were because there are other options, which is really sad because women are cool people, right? They can like shop with you and like pick out plants and things such and so forth. And of course, obviously vaginas are cool too, but most dudes would just rather just look up porn. And then it also doesn't help you. The fact being that you're overweight and obese, being overweight and obese is going to like 100% impede your ability to find a potential candidate because in general, most people are not attracted to fat people. That's just a that's just a given. You will find that weird person every once in a while that's attracted to fat people, and even those people have a limit. Most of those guys, like I talk to, I know a lot of black dudes are like, "Yeah, dog, I need my girl to be thick, dog. I need her to be thick, dog. I need a big bitch." But they're not talking about women that are like 350. They're not talking about women that are 500 pounds. They're talking about women that are maybe like 210, maybe 220, maybe even 180. Like a lot of guys have absolutely no idea what it looks like to be, what to, what it looks like to have fat on a woman because they have no, like it just, they just picture like big lumpy butt cheeks and they think that's attractive. But regardless on that, that's prime. That's primarily the reason why dudes are not courting women or taking women out as much as they are. Women are intimidating. Guys are watching porn. They don't need to interact with women if they don't have to. And you're fat as fuck. Courted me or like taking the actual time to get to know me. Which is a lot of effort. This is why I say it's easier to have sex with somebody than it is to build a relationship because of those things like courting getting to know somebody this takes a lot of effort and a lot of deliberate work in order for those things to work it's not very 
like the 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 return on the return on the investment for a lot of people is not there for a lot of people okay a lot of people want shit now they don't want to build they don't want to have to take time and, and and learning about you and stuff like that so when i hear people go i don't know why guys don't want to have this commitment guys don't want to do this and this it's not just guys but i mean we're talking about guys in this particular scenario but um, that's the reason it's just because everybody wants shit now. Nobody wants to wait for anything anymore. So do you have all the things I listed previously? And then also that too. And it just makes me feel so like unworthy. I don't know. I remember literally watching a video for this girl saying that if a guy can't lift her up, when <laughs> I, I, I swear, I remember this video. I don't know if she took it down cause I went to go look for it, but I literally remember a video for this girl saying like, oh, if the guy can't pick me up, then I don't want to be with him. Like he needs to be able to pick me up. Keep in mind, e even though you're looking upon this woman right now and you're going, she's not that fat. She's fat. She's really big. Okay. You're just not seeing it in the, cause like the neck and the, in the face area and the wig that she applied, it's slimming down her faces a little bit. So you're not seeing it as much, but she big a hundred percent. She big, real big. And she had one of those restrictions. Like if you can't pick me up, then we can't, we can't, you know, date, which is a crazy ass request, by the way. I don't even know how you would even determine if whether or not a guy can't pick you up. There's a big difference between somebody lifting and somebody actually lifting. If you know what I'm talking about, like, so I can pick up almost anybody, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to like actually do anything with the weight. You can throw a lot of weight around, but anyway, um, can you imagine like having a restriction? Like if I, if I, if my man can lift me up and induce permanent scoliosis upon himself, lifting my ginormity up then I'll date him, which is really sad because it looks like it has never worked since she's boyfriendless for almost 30 years, which is crazy. How to explain it, but it's like, it's Houston. It, it's Sunday, right? Houston is crazy, bro. You, can, you can't get a guy in Houston, Texas, dude? Damn. I'll explain it, but it's like, it's Houston. It, it's Sunday right now. I'm like, oh, I should go out to Sunday fun day. But just the fact, like, I know I'm fat. Like, people aren't going to view me the same. I'm like, why would I go out if I'm not going to get approached or X, Y? Self-sabotage, dude. First of all, like I said, most dudes are not approaching anyway because the fear of rejection is very, very high in our society currently. Maybe you approach a guy, dude. Okay? Like, I get it. It's like... It's nice to have a guy approach you, but most dudes are like have permanent PTSD over the over the amount of times that men have hit up women and had a girl go, ew, what the fuck? You're disgusting. Did you even you should use braces on your face like that type of shit. Um, most dudes don't want to have to deal with that. And women can be very, very distasteful sometimes. So. I don't know, like, if you're not having the interactions that you want to, it might be really, really worth it to reach out to men. I don't know, talk to guys, see what they're saying. If you want to, if you like a guy, maybe approach a dude. It's not that weird, okay? Like, you know, what I really hate about modern society is that it seems like women have done a very, very good job at adopting masculine roles, right? Like women work, women do all the things that men used to be able to do and then some. So like women are very good at being feminine and they're also very good at being masculine, which is fine. Like I think it's awesome. But the problem I often see is that women don't like it when men adopt traditionally feminine roles, which is staying at home or maybe even being courted or being approached in certain scenarios. Like these things traditionally are associated with feminine roles. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand there's going to be people in the comment going, David, this is not actually feminine. You know what I'm fucking talking about. Okay. Like for a long time, femininity was defined by being at the house, being a house, a housewife, um, not working, cooking, cleaning things, such as so forth, being approached. Okay. This is traditional stuff all right i know that you might not agree with that but that's what it is so when i see women that are struggling with dating i always think what you know like i get it but like you're so you're incredibly masculine of a woman which is fine by the way like you should be masculine you should want to work you should want to make income you should want to go out there and do what you want to do and get what you're get the bag sis whatever but you can't also expect a lot of dudes to not adopt some feminine traits you know like it's all right if this dude is a little bit emotional it's all right if this dude has never approached a woman you can approach him. You can ask him on a date. You can see what he's doing. It's okay. It's not like so far out of the boundaries of normality. Like times have changed, right? And you should change with them in, in a very good direction, okay? And the same thing for dudes. Like it's time to be a little bit feminine. So if you're not getting the reception that you need and you're not being approached by guys, which is obvious, most guys are not approaching women in general and you're fat as fuck, that's going to impede your ability to date. How about you approach men? How about that? And then maybe you get a little bit more options or... You could do that and lose weight. I don't know. Like, losing weight might help you. Probably, yes, it would help you, okay? I don't know. Like, I don't know how you almost made it to 30 years of your life. You never thought about that. Like, people aren't going to view me the same. I'm like, why would I go out if I'm not going to get approached or X, Y, Z? Because, like, I'm not even a drinker. I'm a smoker. 
and I don't have anyone to go out with. So I feel like if I do Sad. go out, it's gonna be for like a social reason or like to meet someone. And I don't want to go out there just for no one to approach me. And I'm just standing there looking fucking stupid by myself. Like, Damn. I don't know. This shit is really hard. It's like... Dating apps, dude. I'm telling you. Dating apps are meta. And it, it, what she's going through right now has been always a problem. But it is alleviated to a certain degree by being on dating apps. Most people, most women on dating apps don't even really use dating apps for dating, actually. Like, I remember looking up a statistic and it was like, yeah, most women use dating apps for... I don't know, to, to have people say nice things to them or whatever, dude. That really sucks. But if you're actually using dating apps to find guys or nice people to be around, dude, it's going to be very successful for you, okay? Go on Bumble, hit up a few guys, okay? Go on a few dinner dates, talk to the guys, see what's going on. Don't have sex. I mean, that's it, 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 I mean, sure, if you want to have sex, but it seems like this woman wants to date, which is fine. Go on multiple dates, okay? You'll weed out eventually. If you go on three or four or five dates in a row, usually by that fifth date, if that guy's still around, he's probably going to want to be with you. But if that guy doesn't stick around by that fifth date and he's just wanting to have sex with you, then that guy never really was a candidate to begin with. So it's probably a good thing too. I think, personally speaking, this woman should just be on dating apps, dude. Um, a lot of people nowadays don't have friends. And if you do have friends, a lot of them are just online. You're talking through Discord, which is really, really suck because... Even though the main intention for the internet was basically an augmentation for your real life, it just kind of seems like at some point in the last 10 years, it just became your life. And so many people nowadays that have friends have not seen their friends in, let's say, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years. And when they do talk to their friends, it's when their Discord notifications light up and they go, hey, man, let's party chat up or something like that. It's just what it is nowadays. And that sucks. A lot of dick. But... It is what it is nowadays, okay? We have we live in a different era. I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm just saying it is what it is. Understand the game, and you'll be able to play it better. I feel like I'm fat. Yes. I'm black, okay. and I'm tall. So, I feel like... By the way, okay, so she's bringing up the black girl argument because according to dating statistics, according to dating statistics across all apps, black women are the most undesirable when it comes to dating statistics. Um, now, I don't know why that is. Uh, it could be racism. I maybe it could be social stigmas. It could be a whole bunch of things, right? I don't know. But um, I never really let that affect me. I've only ever dated black women in my life. Um, I know the negative context black women get, but I never really saw that. But that's the reason why she's uh, outlining that, which is fine to outline. It's important to acknowledge this stuff, but don't use it as like a, oh, boo hoo. Dudes don't want to date me because I'm black. Nah, you're good, dude. You'll find a whole bunch of snow bunnies that want to date you. I'm fat. I'm black and I'm tall. So I feel like no one's really checking for me. And well, being tall is not something you could change. And being black is not something you could change. But I'm going to let you know right now, being black is not going to hurt you as much as those other two. So uh, I'm going to let you know. The, I don't know how tall this girl is, but usually when girls say they're tall, they're usually around 5'10 or higher. So I'm going to assume that she's around 5'10. And then being fat, dude, just lose some weight. Go to the gym. You think guys love gym girlies. Guys love girls that are muscle mommies. Go to the gym. Work out. Go in a calorie deficit. You don't look bad in the face. I mean, it depends on who you're talking to. For me personally, not the, the preferred woman I would go for. But that's all right. That's all right. Right? There are plenty of other people that would find her very, very attractive. It, it, she should be looking at the bright side of the situation, dude. She's not ugly. And that's just really hard. Like, I've always been the fat friend. You don't need to be, though. That's really fucking sad to say. I've always been the fat friend, but you don't need to always have be the fat friend. You could just lose weight and not be the fat friend anymore. And I just don't know. Like, nothing ever good happens for the fat friend. So lose weight. I, you know what? I, re I really hate it when these people will literally identify, self-diagnose the problem and then still do nothing about it. How are you going to sit there and tell me that you've always been the fat friend and you've been doing this for something like, let's say, for instance, you started dating when you were 18, right? And you're what, 26, almost 27? So that means you've been doing this for now nine and eight to nine years and you still have, you, you still are working under the same mentality? How is it? Did you make it almost 10 years of your life? And you're still working under the same the same idea of being a fat girl if you know it's not working for you. Why don't you lose weight? And then once you lose weight, then you'll be in a better classification, especially acknowledging that your thin friends are getting more options than you. You are literally starting the video with your friend that just got married or proposed to. And you're upset about that in the sense of like you can't get proposed to. Is she thin? Could there be a connection there? I consider myself to be pretty... <sighs> pretty yeah which is fine like everybody 
I don't like it when people outline things about themselves. Like when people are going through it and they go, but I'm pretty and I'm funny and I'm charismatic and I have great personality. I have this and that. Do you think anybody thinks they don't have those things? Like there are nine out of 10 people will tell you that they have great personalities. Nine out of 10 people will tell you that they're funny. Nine out of 10 people will think they're pretty. It's okay. Like these things are a universal across all, like all people for the most part. Like people are not walking through their life going, I'm just fucking gross. I smell like Elon Musk's left armpit. And, you know, like, oh, I, I suck talking to people. I'm just terrible in conversation. Most people are not doing that. So I know that you think these things, but that doesn't really matter because if you think these things, why would you think a skinnier girl is also not thinking those same things and maybe has those same traits that are, you know, and but is not being negatively affected by the weight that you're carrying? Anyway. Pretty. Pretty fat pretty confident sometimes but i'm just feeling like paralyzed right confidence now. is great don't get me wrong confidence is really great i love a confident queen confident women are cool but that only stretches so far dude you can't be confident while looking like i don't know dude sloth from the goonies like i mean it just depends on where you're going and what you're looking for dude but it seems like your standards are pretty high given the fact that you spent 26 years of your life and you haven't got single a single boyfriend that's crazy pretty confident sometimes but I'm just feeling like paralyzed right now with like anxiety and <sighs> you know what's really tough is that people will go through a good portion of their life believing basically hogwash like just absolute nonsense and they'll say this stuff to themselves like over and over and over again. Oh, it will happen eventually. Oh, I'll get a boyfriend eventually. Oh, I'll get a girlfriend eventually, right? And that is fine to say to yourself when you're 18, 19, 20. But once you start getting up in the ages and then you realize that shit isn't happening and then you keep working under this assumption of like, it will just happen. It will just happen. And it never happens. And then it starts weighing on you. And then it starts getting harder and harder to justify those thoughts because years go by and you still have nothing to show for it. And you're just sitting there going, wait a minute, like maybe this isn't going to happen. And this is usually what I see from these people is that they work under false assumptions that they are eventually going to find a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever the fuck they're, 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 you're going to have. And it doesn't work like that. It's not a good idea to just be passively. Now, okay, maybe for a large portion of time, you could have been a woman and you could have been passive and you could have just had a dude approach you. And I'm sure that still works for a lot of different women, right? Sure. But given the scenario that we're in right now with this woman, it's not working for her. Just passively sitting by, waiting for guys to approach you. That one guy that's going to think you're pretty, beautiful, amazing, awesome, all this other stuff, which is a very bad way of thinking about it. Because even if you do find a guy that fits all of those criteria... Does that mean you're going to actually like him? Does that mean that he's not going to have a weird fetish? Does that mean that this guy is not going to chip his own toenails? Does that mean this guy is going to know how to shower? I don't know. The point I'm making is why would you gamble on this one guy? Why would you gamble on I'm going to find somebody someday doing something, do whatever the fuck? When you could, what you could be doing is making yourself as attractive as humanly possible. And when dudes do approach you or when you get interaction with guys or whatever, then you will be able to distinguish who or what you want to date because now you have the options to. And it really sucks too because going through dating, especially as a younger person, you are basically throwing throwing knives at a wall and seeing what sticks, right? You don't know what you like when you're 20. You don't know what you like when you're 22. But maybe when you're 24, 25, 26, 27, and you, you've, you've dated for a while, then you have an idea. You have a broad idea of what you traditionally like, right? I know when I was like 20 years old, I had no idea what I liked because how could I? I've never dated anybody before. I've never even talked to a girl. If I did, it was like it was like at the DMV or I was at the fucking grocery store and the, the, the lady behind the counter asked me if I want my receipt and my, my dick was like per just erect beyond belief because this girl was talking to me even though she was 58 years old. But it doesn't matter. The point I'm making is you need to have interactions with people. You need to date around. You need to know what you like. So it really sucks seeing that this girl is having such a hard time. She's not seeing the writing on the wall. I can see that she's Coming to the realization that the ideology that she's believed in is obviously not working for her and it's not helping her. And then I'm also seeing that she has absolutely zero dating experience because she literally has none. And now she's worried about whether or not she's ever going to be married or finding a boyfriend. And if she does start dating, she's literally starting from like a, 
ground zero type thing. She has no foundation, no nothing. She has nothing to build off of. She has to literally lay the groundwork herself. And that really sucks because the older you get, the harder it is to find people to be with. Because as you get older, usually what happens is you become ugly. Don't give no, stop, <laughs> stop, not ugly. But sometimes it becomes harder. You have more restrictions. You have a little bit more, um, you want more from somebody, which makes sense, by the way. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But when you're younger, you experiment with things. You don't know. Maybe you do anal. Maybe the dude brings in anal beads or something like that. Maybe he's popping champagne in your butt cheeks. I don't fucking know. There's a whole bunch of shit that goes on. But when you get older, you start like cutting that stuff out. You don't want to do that stuff anymore. You want more of an adult relationship. You want to actually have communication. You don't want somebody that's just going to, I don't know, suck you off for 45 minutes and leave the room. You want somebody that's going to suck you off for 45 minutes and then talk to you about deep personal stuff. That stuff's really important. But when you're younger and when you're, I mean, she's 26, 27, something like that, um, it's going to be tough for her, dude. And like I said before, it, it really hurts me because you could most definitely be somebody, somebody special, somebody, if you just worked on it, it you know, it's, it make no mistake about it. It's not just the weight that's hurting her. It's the mentality that she's bringing to the table, the way she's thinking about it. Like, why am I even going to get dressed up and put effort into going out? If I'm just going to be like invisible to everybody. There? It's really sad. Just lose some fucking weight, dude. Come on. It's not just make yourself more attractive, dude. Damn, that forehead be fucking big, bro. It's probably just in my head, but this is really painful. Yeah, and you know what? Like I said, this shit has probably been bubbling up for a while. And you can, you can say this. You could say the same shit to yourself to make yourself go to sleep as much as you want, but eventually, the reality of the situation is gonna kick in. I'm struggling, with and that's it. what it is right here. So being single for first time in a long time. Those glasses are crazy, bro. God damn, bro. What are they like a fourth of your face? I decided to try one of the dating apps, which we all know sucks, right? Well, <laughs> I was talking to some guy who was going good. What is wrong with your hair? What happened? Did you like did you go to a salon and they fucked that shit up? What happened here? Why does it look so inconsistent? And Asked me to send a picture, like, because all I had was, like, face pictures. Yeah, that's tough. Damn. Damn, bro. He knew the deal, bro. He saw the face pictures, and he's like, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, dude. Nah, I know what's going on here, dude. Show me the body picture. And in my profile, I said I was not skinny. Yeah, but so what? That don't mean shit. Not skinny is ambiguous, bro. What the fuck is not skinny? What are you, like, 20, 30 pounds over? You send a picture. I'm looking. <gasps> oh, my God. You said not skinny, not dying of obesity. God damn. Can you even get out of a seated position? So I sent him a picture, and he blocked me out. Damn. Yes. Tough. Damn. That's tough. Oh, shit. Damn. That dude looked at you. was like, <gasps> oh, she bleg, she bleg, and blocked you. That's real tough, bro. You got to be busted beyond belief for a dude to block you after seeing one picture. That. And the fact that she's just talking about this shit is crazy, dude. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. Anywho. Fat girl problems. It's not fat. Just fuck. God damn, bro. You so fat. Dudes are literally blocking you after seeing your body composition. And you're just going like, oh, well, I guess it's just what I'm going to have to deal with. Fat girl. That's not a fat girl problem. You way too big to be a fat girl problem. That's some real severe obesity shit. You've never been. Like if that dude could smell the musk through the photo it was like, oh, damn. Oh, shit. Taking on a date. Uh -uh. Y'all slide and hurt DM. This video is fascinating to me because for this the- This that girl with the really bad wigs that- I think this might be her real hair, but I, I she probably has a little something extra in it, which is fine. I mean, I don't like it. Personally speaking, I don't like it when black girls like straighten hair. I like the natural curls, you know? I know that <coughs> some black girls do have naturally straight hair though, but usually not so much. But wear whatever you want, you know, whatever. For the most part, people understand that larger black women aren't seen as publicly desirable, right? Like we're dated less by everybody and we're not seen as the standard of beauty. Fetishized a lot, which is a problem, and we're not seen as dating material. But when plus size, dark- More so, more so fat women, I feel like. More so fat women, dude. I don't think this is much of a race issue. Like, sure, like according to dating statistics, black women are the ones that are dated the least. 
But I would go really, really far in saying that the bigger problem most of the time, it just comes down to you being fat. Like most people across the board do not want to date fat people. That's just what it is. Dark skinned black women tell you about like our experiences. Y'all don't be believing us or you think that it's our fault that we haven't. Well, most of the time it is going to be your fault. And in the sense of like, if you're going on a hundred dates and out of a hundred dates, nobody, nobody likes you. And then you determine that to be like, oh, it's because I'm black or it's because I'm fat or it's because I'm this or it's because I'm that society. It's everybody else's problem. I, I can't help but to see that you're the problem. I can't help but to see that maybe it's something that you're doing that's making these guys be repelled by you. And maybe that's something you look at because it's very easy for somebody to see – it's very easy for somebody to take a responsibility off themselves and place it on the footsteps of people that are not even really there because that's what most of these people are doing are just going like, oh, it's society that doesn't like me. It's it's because we have these societal expectations of um, black women or fat women or whatever the fuck. When in reality, most of the time, it's it really is coming. It really comes down to you what, what you're doing. And on dates or you're just shocked. Like it took my friends years to figure out that I wasn't the big ass problem. It is probably you though. I mean, they probably took them years because – they were probably working on the assumption of like, you hit up a hundred dudes and not a single one of them approached you. That's crazy. That doesn't even make sense. And it doesn't make sense. And then she goes, yeah, but it's because it's because I'm fat and black. Could it just be there's something about you? Like, I'm sure that don't get me wrong. I'm sure being fat and black, obviously those things are negatively affecting you. But God damn, bro, I can't be affecting you that bad. It's got to be some other stuff. When it came to me not being taken on date, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Men have offered me hundreds of dollars in hopes, I did not do this, in hopes that they could hit instead of wanting to take me on a date. I'm talking- Yeah, because you know what it is? It's like the lack of commitment is what's probably a little bit- That's really unfortunate, dude. I'm, I wouldn't doubt that she's got many men hitting her up for- money to have sex with her or even like smell vagina or even a vagina picture i've met plenty of women that are like literally twos that sell feet pictures or vagina pictures like where there's a will there's a way right but what's really really sad about this scenarios is is like the reason why these guys are not looking at you as anything more than just a booty call is because the commitment for that is really, really high for a relationship. It, 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 like I said before, a lot of deliberate work, a lot of time, a lot of effort. Why would like you got to look at it like this? Why would somebody choose to devote all that time, all that effort, all that like extra work into building a relationship with you when you're already somebody that they're not attracted to? in general and then also how many health complications are you going to be bringing to the table how many problems are you going to be how many problems am I, am I going to have to address because most people that go into relationships don't want to go knowingly into a relationship with somebody that has default problems that they're already gazing upon most people do not want to do that so if you're going into a relationship and you have all these problems now don't get me wrong it's okay to have issues but if the issues are literally things fully on display like obesity that's a fucking giant problem, dude. Okay, I don't know what to tell you than that. That's not a good thing to have, all right? Fucking $600. And this just shows that people, not just men, really care about what other people be thinking. You're you're caught too much, man, dude. This is like a crazy ass thing to say, bro. It, 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 so you're what you're saying is like, it's the men's fault that they don't want to date you. To a certain degree, I agree. But dude, is there nothing you can do to alleviate this problem on your end? Because... When you blame all your issues on the wider society or people in general that are not yourself, what tends to happen is the issue never gets solved because you're not internalizing the problem as something that you need to deal with. Instead, you're putting the you're putting the the problem on other people's on other people, which may or may not even exist. It might just be a whole organization like most of the time when they say it's a society. So it's never going to solve the problem because even though this is your issue, you're not recognizing it as your issue. You're recognizing it as a issue with society, which is terrible. Because like I said, you're never going to have this issue be solved. And the days that I have been on, I thought I was going to die on most of them. And this was all racist. Black what are you talking about? What do you mean die on all of the dates? Really? Who, what kind of dudes are you dating? What do you mean die? Like, what are you going on fucking dates with like cartel members that show up with like AKs and shit? What do you mean you're going to die? Dominican, white, Latinx, all of them. They've all been- Oh, that's cringe, dude. Latinx is cringe. And this was all racist. Black, Dominican, white, Latinx, all of them. They've all been awful. And if you reject a man because they're doing- All of them? All of them? They've- all been bad every single date that you've been on the majority of dates that you've been on have all been bad and somehow you're determining that it's the men's fault 
That seems really far-fetched, bro. That seems actually crazy. Am I wrong in saying that this might be a her problem? Weird stuff or you don't like them, you will almost die. And this has been a problem at this current weight, which is one of- Maybe, maybe. That's probably true, dude. A lot of guys don't like handling rejection. And if you get one of those crazy ass dudes that doesn't like rejection, some dudes will literally holler at a girl for like 45 minutes straight, take every single sign of rejection to the face and not care and like literally threaten that woman. I've seen it and it's crazy, but- I don't doubt that there have been some vindictive guys that probably didn't like the fact that this woman denied them. And, I, you know, it is what it is, man. A lot of guys are crazy dudes. In my heaviest weight. You know, what I tend to see, though, is, like, men are a little bit more straightforward on their craziness. So that's, like, usually why they're in prisons and things like that. Like, they'll more physically beat you up. Whereas, like, women are probably more red flags in an ambiguous way. Like, maybe you don't see it on the surface level, right? Like, you know how many girls I've talked to that seem like really great, amazing people? And then when you get down to the nitty-gritty, they start saying crazy-ass shit. Like, I stalked my ex-boyfriend, and then I found out where he lived. And then I went to the government, and I reported his shit to this. And I went to his car, and I wrote my name in his fucking car. But I then I covered it up so he wouldn't know it was me. And I, I did this, and I was, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's fucking crazy. Like, it's okay that you're crazy, but damn, you are really straightforward about being crazy. I mean, it's okay to be crazy in the sense of like, I don't want to talk to you anymore because now you're telling me how great it, how, how, like how cool you are being crazy. Like I remember talking to a girl and she was literally bragging to me about breaking up a marriage. Like she was literally saying like, oh yeah, I dated this like 45 year old guy. She was like 20 at the time. She was like, I dated this 45 year old guy that had a wife and kids. And we, he, I was just a side piece. Like she just straight up told me that she was like, I was a side piece. And uh, he was blowing my back out. He was backshotting my shit. It was crazy. We're taking pictures, videos, and things like that, which is fine, right? I mean, it's not fine to cheat, by the way. I'm saying, like, it's fine if you want to take pictures and videos. But then she was like, oh, but then he had to leave me because of his wife or whatever. And I didn't like that. So what I did was I sent all the nude photos of myself getting slammed down by this guy. And I sent it to his wife. And now they're getting a divorce. And I was just thinking, like, that's terrible. That's actually terrible. Like, okay. It's the guy's fault too, right? Obviously, I'm not putting it solely on her, but she was like bragging to me about this as if it was like a good thing, as if like what she did was like a, a, a thing to get accommodations for or something. And I was just like, oh, okay. I mean, I did have sex with her, but that was besides the point. The, the point was that this woman was crazy. She was insane. Um, and then she thought it was like a bragging point. Um, but yeah, sometimes people will tell you the hard truth sometimes, and it's up to you to make the determining factor to not talk to them. And this way, excuse the messy ass bathroom, but yeah, at this way it happened a lot. But yeah, it happened a lot at this weight, which was like 40 pounds ago. I would even argue that it happened more with this body. What's the takeaway here? Please believe your- The takeaway should be, I should lose weight because I'm so fat, I'm not getting male attention and I want male attention. I argue that- And I then also get a better mentality and stop blaming all my problems on men or other people even though a lot of these problems could be alleviated by things that I can do. Happened more. And then also learn how to install a wig. With this body. What's the takeaway here? Please believe your plus size, dark skin, black nah. women friends. No, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to just believe you because you're a whammon. Because you're a black skin whammon. We tell you that the dating for us is shit. And that it's not our fault. Dating in general is going to be really, really garbage. Especially if you're going into it with this wrong mentality. But even though you're not going on the dates, you can still rob these men. You know what I'm saying? These men will still give you money even though they're not hitting and they're not going on dates. You just got to fine hold them true i mean it's true i wouldn't advocate for doing that i mean if you got no morals and that's you know you got no morals and you you want to just use a man because he maybe thinks that he has the option to have sex with you you could do it i'm sure there are plenty of i met women that do it and that's up to them i don't like it personally um because what it actually is is you're you're victimizing these dudes and don't get me wrong they are putting themselves in the scenario to be victimized but it's like the way I like to look at it is like, would you blame the old person that got her a whole entire account robbed because he was on, she was on the phone with an Indian guy and that guy told her that her insurance money was like not fit enough. So she had to go to the store and get like $4,000 of Robux cards. No, probably not. Right. Sometimes you're just ignorant and other things like that. Like a lot of men are very ignorant and sometimes you as the woman need to be the person that steps up. And I know it's like, you're being emotionally babysitting a guy. True. But sometimes it needs to be done because these guys are never going to leave that. And they're going to be per perpetually giving you money or never leave this friend zone. I'm up for extortion too. Just rob these funky men. Damn. Okay, bye y'all. That's really crazy to say though. Don't get mad at me, but I've noticed. I disagree by the way. I don't think you should rob dudes because they want to have sex with you. That the thinner girls 
the more conventionally attractive girls, when they're talking about how they got into a relationship, how they got a boyfriend, they're like allowed to be silly, funny jokester on their dating profile. And the guys still take them seriously. Yeah. And they still take them on dates and they still get into relationships with them. You know what's really sad about this woman, dude, is that she's been having this problem since I started making videos on this woman. And I made an entire video dedicated to this woman. She She responded to me. And it's really sad because she said that I didn't know what I was talking about. And that my my information that I was giving her, my advice was too centered in real life or it was like too realistic of I- I- advice. And what's really crazy is that I really genuinely feel like if she had actually listened to what I was saying, she probably could have improved her chances of dating somebody drastically. But she didn't and she took everything I said basically to say that I was an asshole and whatever the fuck. She didn't listen to anything I said. And then as a result of that she is still making videos crying and saying that she doesn't have boyfriends it's been like six months since then and she's still single as fuck still complaining that she can't find boyfriends and at what point do you realize that maybe the strategy that you have isn't working when the big girls try to do it the guys just are gross you know why because you guys what is the difference between a fat girl and a small girl the fat that's that's it okay so if you think that you're cool and funny and all this other stuff because you're fat why do you think that the thin girls don't, are not those things it's just an added benefit that they're thin as well so it's like why would i go for you when i can go for a thin girl that has everything that you have and she's doesn't have the the complications of being fat like they're just a vile and they turn whatever like light-hearted silly thing you're trying to do into just being fucking gross Anyone else notice that? I hate dating apps as a plus size woman because they've only revealed like. Oh, damn, bro, that's crazy, bro. My bad. That that forehead is big as fuck, bro. If you're gonna wear a wig, look. I often say this: you shouldn't be placing your wigs on your eyebrows. I I agree. You should have some leeway. You should actually have a forehead. But this is insane, bro. That 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 forehead is like, damn, bro. That forehead big men's evil like true intentions to me and i honestly feel like a piece of meat i get it dude i get it i've been i've been hit up by a lot of dudes too that i've literally just said hey yo bro send me real quick can you do me a big favor even though i know you're on a straight dating apps right now and i'm a dude and i put myself down as a woman to try to get more male attention because i'm only really attracted to straight guys because it's too easy to get gay men because gay men are already gay but i don't want gay men i want straight men so i can convince them to be gay anyway um, I was looking at your profile, dude, and you look really, really delightful, awesome, and amazing. Can you just do me, listen, it's not even, I'm not even really asking for much, but can you really, really quickly go through your camera roll? Can you go to your gallery real quick and find the best favorable picture of your dick and send that to me real, how many you got? Four or five? Just send me that shit. I'm just trying to beat my shit right now. And you, th- I think that maybe your meat probably looks pretty delectable. I was thinking about maybe if I was going to beat it anyway, you might as well just like, it's not even gay, right? Because that picture was probably meant for a girl anyway. So if you're going to send a picture to a girl, I'm just getting the backwash of that dick pic that was sent to that girl. I'm just getting like the, you know, the current size, basically. I'm just getting like the, you know, I'm just a side piece. I'm not even gay. It's not really even gay to send me a dick pic real quick. Just send that shit to me real quick. But I'm licking my lips at the idea of what your dick even smells like. Is that shit good? Do you lubricate it? What body wash do you use? Dove? Oh. Can I come over and smell it real quick? I'm not going to put it in my mouth or anything. I might drool on it, but can you just really quickly put it in my mouth? Real, I just need it in my mouth real quick. Can I suck you off real quick? Can I put it in my mouth? That's usually how it goes for me when I talk to these dudes sometimes. Like, I'm not on dating apps anymore, but when I was, there was a whole bunch of dudes that would just hit you up and just ask to see dick or just try to impregnate your anal cavity and don't get me wrong if that's what you want to do that's fine i'm not gay personally uh, i know a lot of people think i'm gay but i'm not gay uh, i'm not trying to be impregnated but if that's what you want to do you can i'm not interested in it i mean that's really gay but i'm not gay so anyway um but i see where she's coming from a lot of dudes will make you feel like you're a piece of meat but that's okay because you can if the guy hits you up and goes like yo i'm gonna let you know right now my dick is out what's up 
You know, I can't read, but I know how to breed. And you just go, I, right, I'm not trying to be talking to this guy right now. You could easily just wipe that guy to the side and go to the guys that are actually going to treat you like a real whammy. Like true intentions to me. And I honestly feel like a piece of meat. And look, I actually made two like Tinder accounts with different pictures, but all my same information. The skinny girl was getting offered on dates. Yeah. Guys were offering to like send her money. So you know what that means, right? So, so you know what that means? Could it be that maybe the skinny girls are more attractive because they're not fat? Random shit. And me, it's like sexual questions, like right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, sometimes those sexual questions are really, really weird, huh? Like, hey, if you could, if you could, uh, how, how big are your, how big are your boobs in inches? And then they go like, oh, wh what the fuck? What are you talking about? What do you mean inches? And then you go, oh, my bad feet. How many in feet? Yeah. Um, can you tell me real quick? On like Thursdays and Fridays, what does your vagina smell like? Like, do you know what that, you know, do you, do you know what that, you wear panties sometimes? Could you send me a pair of your panties? Could you do that real quick? What do they look like, by the way? What color are your panties right now? Um, I meant your vagina. What color is your vagina right now? Yeah. Like, do you have a butthole? Like, sometimes it will just be like that. Some just weird questions like that. Dudes, I don't know, man. Some guys, that's why whenever I hit up women, I would just ask them weird questions like, hey, what is your favorite flavor of deodorant? Or like, when did you realize that pizza rolls weren't just made for kids? Uh, you know, as a as a, a an adult of society, do you think it's okay to wear mismatched socks? Because it's like, why does it matter? It's just bullshit questions. You don't fucking know me or whatever. I don't know. It's much better than hitting a girl up and asking her if her, if her areolas are small or big. Like no respect. And don't get me wrong, I have been on dates and I have like engage with people that were like decent from dating apps but the reception of being like plus size versus straight like straight size is completely different i don't know why this woman even makes these videos dude that's an obvious statement dude like let me know if you guys agree down below it's, that's it's not that we agree or disagree it's a factual statement it's so factual that you don't even need to say it actually why i'm on a fitness journey because i know to get better options i have to be better option and Hallelujah. i don't hate myself like i love my body but i just don't like the way that people treat me because of my body and the way that my body has positioned me in society if you guys know what i mean well at least you're losing weight at least you come to the realization that losing weight is going to benefit you damn that forehead is kind of banging dude it's so easy for some people to date and find relationships so i used to think this a lot myself as well um some people will have a very easy time being in relationships like some people have no standards, though. Do not confuse being in relationships with quality relationships. Like, if you look at Amberlynn Reed or other people um, that are in relationships with people and they go from relationship to relationship to relationship, that doesn't mean necessarily that they're good at relationships. That just means that they have no boundaries and they have, like, they're very desperate individuals. So, they'll just date people because. So, don't get it confused. Sometimes it is basically just they don't, they don't have standards. I've never been in love. I've only been in, like, maybe two or three relationships i'm you know older now but the best part about being older is that you start to self-reflect and look around and the majority of people who are in relationships settle yeah if you really really but settling is not a bad thing it just depends on where where you're settling because sometimes people have unrealistic standards or they want things that are not really what they want. So I'll give you an example. Like I know that I want – I remember when I was like 18, 19, 20, I wanted a girl that was like really sexual, a girl that really didn't talk too much or whatever the fuck. And then when I find when I found a woman that was like that, I hated it. And I'm sure that that could work for somebody else, but I didn't like it as much, right? And then it took me a while to figure out what I actually wanted. Was I settling? You could count that as settling. Like I, I didn't know what I wanted until you wanted it. Or maybe you meet somebody that doesn't have the ideal, the ideal things that you want, but they have other things. And you're willing to forgive the stuff that you thought that you wanted because now this new stuff that you're getting is way better. Or it's just the same but just different, if that makes any sense. Nothing wrong with that. People do that all the time. Like how many times you've been in a relationship where you're like, ah, even though this guy like leaves the door open when he takes when he, when he he takes a shit or he has like one spoon, one fork. That doesn't mean he's not trainable. That doesn't mean he can't like, you know, get more forks and spoons and stuff like that. Sometimes it's okay to adjust.
we listen to people compromising is okay in relationships by the way who are in relationships most of the people don't even like the person they're with let alone love they don't yeah i disagree with that dude i don't know what you're talking about dude most people that are in relationships don't love each other because most people that are in relationships are in relationships like they're not most relationships are not to the level of love that takes a little bit of time and effort to actually develop those particular types of things and that may not ever do that ne may never happen so most people that are in relationships yes but 100 percent, most people that are in relationships do like the person that they're with that doesn't even make sense most people I i'm sure that there are there are relationships out there where the person doesn't like the person they're with they're just with them for convenience or something sure but that 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 cannot be most that is crazy the people who are in relationships most of the people don't that is, is not most most implies it's 50 50 percent or more 50 51 percent or more that's not true like the person they're with let alone love they don't even like them and yeah nobody's perfect and things are never gonna be as good as they should be but most of these people aren't even compatible they have no business being with each other they've not done no work on themselves what is this cope what is this cope right now so what i'm basically hearing is like i see people that are in relationships and they don't like each other and they basically lower their standards to do this so i'm basically like living life right now because even though i'm not in a relationship at least i'm not in a relationship with somebody that i don't like okay the fuck first of all like most people that are in relationships do like the person that they're with and you're maybe seeing like compromises as like a a bat a bat do you not know what a, well it maybe makes sense like if you have like little to no dating experience and you don't understand what it's like to communicate actually with the person there is a lot of work involved in the senses of like you have a way of doing things and they have a way of doing things and when you come together and those things might conflict so what you tend to do is you compromise you go okay you do it this way and i do it this way how about we do it this way and see if that works or how about i make time to do that and you do this and you know what i'm talking about like there's a lot of work involved and i wouldn't say that's like settling or lowering your standards or anything it just means working together it's like a necessary thing that's going to happen in any relationship ever you're gonna have to compromise on shit it is what it is and that's not a bad thing that's a great thing matter of fact that's a growing experience now don't get me wrong there are certain things that you shouldn't compromise on like if your girlfriend hits you up it's like hey this dude just hit me up he got bbc i'm trying to get piped down obviously if you don't want to compromise on that that's fine and i do I, I wouldn't even consider that to be cheating if that if you don't consider that to be cheating there's a lot of relationships out nowadays where I don't know, like a lot of women just get piped down by dudes and dudes just watch in the corner. I literally was hit up by a couple that wanted to do that. But the point I'm making is I wouldn't consider that a person in a relationship that is compromising or doesn't like necessarily everything that a person does as a bad thing. That just means that they have issues or they're trying to work on those issues. And this is a really weird cope given the fact that you're not in one and you're using this as a reason to stay single. That's really sad, actually. Hattable. They have no business being with each other. They've not done no work on themselves, but they're together. The amount of people who have told me like, oh, you need to hurry up and find someone. Oh, you're getting older. You need to be with someone. It's a little bit worse for women than it is for men, for men because men don't really have the social stigma of being in relationships. It's less – men being in relationships is it's a little bit less valuable, societally speaking. Women, it's a little bit more valuable. Also, women do have aging, so if you ever want to have kids – um, maybe your egg sac eventually will hit a point where high risk pregnancy is involved. If you don't want to have kids, you don't want to have kids. That's fine. But a lot of women that do want to have kids, it's most definitely way better to have kids with somebody that you actually want to be with than it is to just have kids with a random guy. So if you do want to have kids and this is something like priority on your list, it's probably way better to do it with a guy. If this woman's quote unquote older, which I don't know what that means, maybe 30, um, which is crazy by the way, being 30 is not older, but fine, whatever. Um, that is fine, but it's most definitely something you're going to have to look at. Like, that's one of the reasons why women usually have to have their shit together really, really early. Because if women have a lot, th a lot of things to do and they have to do them in a timely manner and they usually have steps involved, whereas guys have a lot of free time. Like, dudes will literally coast for, like, a lot of their life doing nothing or not nothing, but not really growing or doing anything really of value in terms of, like, building themselves. And eventually when they do do those things, it's... Like, I don't know, it takes a longer time, if that makes any sense, which is one of the reasons why women tend to date men that are a little bit older, because men that are a little bit older have a little bit more stuff, or they're more mature, and they have their shit together, which is fine, by the way. So I'm just going to pick someone? Just anybody who's just... No, you don't have to, bro, but I don't know how old you are when you say older, maybe like in your 30s. How did you make it this far in your life, and you've never, like, you've never been in love, you never had these big relationship points, like... Don't just pick anybody, but at least have realistic standards. What it seems like to me is that this woman has really, really unrealistic standards. And she's like literally out here 
proclaiming that people that have issues in relationships that shouldn't be in relationships like that's really crazy to say by the way given the fact that you're not in a relationship like you're you're coping so hard you're gaslighting yourself into believing that you're in the right when you're obviously you know deep down that you're in the wrong because you want to have kids or maybe you want a fulfilling relationship or you want to be with somebody but you're using this as an excuse to be like oh no but it's okay that I'm not in a relationship because there's so many people that are in relationships that don't like each other it's a weird way of like trying to it's a weird way of trying to like fix yourself or like think that you're okay when in reality you know you're not okay standing right there but I realized that that's what a lot of people do especially men like when they're finally ready to settle down they will literally just go find some woman and pick them up and be like, okay, yep, I got her. And marry. men usually have lower standards in this in different directions. Like most men don't really care a lot. Okay, look, a lot of dudes. I'll say that a lot of guys really only focus on the physical appearance of a woman, and they don't really care about the the deep down stuff. I'm not saying they do eventually though. Like you will meet a lot of dudes. Like eventually, it becomes way more valuable. But most dudes are really focusing on the primary physical appearance of a woman, where women really care about the other stuff. But that doesn't mean that men are like more superficial it's just you have to know what your buying points are like there's a reason why women wear makeup there's a reason why women wear high heels and other things like that like sure you guys are doing it to appease yourself i'm sure it's true but there's a reason why these things are in place right you're, you're trying to attract men i get it okay i understand that not all men i'm not saying that but you do understand that we you know as a as a we're we're, we're animals deep down right we're doing things to accentuate our, ourselves for the other sex and that's okay to say so for men it would be the physical features. For women, it could be other things like maybe resources. Maybe it could be this guy's broad shoulders. Maybe he's tall. Maybe he's cool. Maybe he's funny, right? So it's not that men have less standards. It's just you're looking at them differently. And you're conflating your standards and the way you think about things. And you're trying to put that upon somebody else. You know, you're trying to put that on the other thing. Like it's like the way I like to look at um, dating is that women have two ladders and the two ladders would be the first ladder will be okay like this will be the friend ladder and on the friend ladder the women are never going to have sex with these guys they're just friends they'll never be anything more than that she'll never think about them as anything more than just friends and then she'll have the 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 the, the, the have sex and dating ladder and that ladder is like you know this guy this guy this guy this guy but you know like she'll choose men have one ladder and that consists of all the people and every woman that the guy will have sex with is also a woman that he could be friends with if that makes any sense so sometimes i see people men think like that and women think they try to like put their own ladders on each one so when i see women go oh i'm having sex with this guy that means it's going to turn into a relationship because on her ladder, the dating is also the same as having sex. So eventually she thinks that she's going to have sex with this guy. She's going to date the guy. But on his ladder, it's not. He's just having sex with her, if that makes any sense. Like you have to understand the other dating. You have to understand where the guys are coming from. Not all guys, of course, but usually most dudes. You have to understand where dudes are looking and how women are looking. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of effort to understand. But that's, you know, base, that's like a very, very broad understanding of the two. It's not always going to be equal. And I, I don't like it when people try to put their standards on another group and say, like, you're weird for not having standards. Like, you have such low standards. It's just their standards are in different places. Marry and marry her. There's actually, like, a whole background study done on that. I can't even remember what it's called, but they literally do that. Like, when they're ready, they just pick someone up. They don't even think about it. And they just do it. They don't think about if they're compatible. They don't think about if they actually like them. It's just different standards. It's not about like you are thinking about things in your way. And then obviously these dudes are thinking about it in their way. You understand? Like you can't, what you're trying to do is put your standards on them. They don't think about, all they think about is what that person can do for them. Cause let's be real. Most men are inherently very, very selfish. I don't know about that, dude. It, what do you mean by selfish? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Men, most men are inherently selfish. I think people in general are selfish. And that's okay because sometimes being selfish is a good thing because you should be looking out for yourself and that could be attractive for a lot of people. And I don't know. Like, I don't know, dude. I, I would have to really understand what you mean by selfish. And most people don't want to do the work on themselves. And I've realized that the older you get and the more you spend time working on yourself and reflecting, you want somebody who can match that energy. Like I go to therapy. I enjoy. It, it, nah, dude. It just it not. It's not always like that. Again, you got you're you're conflating what you want with what, what, what these men want. That's not how it works, dude. Like if you want a guy that's going to therapy and working on himself, I'm sure that's great. 
but that doesn't mean necessarily that's what that guy is going to want. Like, matching energy could be a good thing, but it's really, 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 really appropriate to understand that matching energy doesn't always mean the same. It could be equal, but not the same. Like, maybe you want a guy to go to therapy, but maybe his therapy is other things, like going to the gym or working on cars or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it could be different, if that makes any sense. It's, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be the same, just equal myself there's so many hobbies i do i travel i try to be the best person that i can be every single day so i can be a good partner and you want that reciprocated it just depends like i said dude how do you know this like you can't just you can't just have your own expectations for what you want and think that that's what other people want from you that's not how that works you it's like buying somebody something that they don't actually want you like how many times does that happen where like it, it's like the equivalent of when it's like, let's say, for instance, it's Christmas and you're married to a guy. And when you open up your Christmas present from him, it's like a whole bunch of tools and stuff like that. And he's like, see, I got you something that you wanted. And he took, he takes the tools and he goes into the garage and he starts making a canoe. Like you contour to what they want, right? That's what it's all about. It's not about what you want and thinking that that, that is what they should want too. No, sometimes people have different wants. People have different needs. So like, don't sit there and look in the mirror and go, this is all the things I want. Therefore, this is what men should want too. No, that's not how that works. Understand what the other person wants and then work based off of that. A hundred percent. If you're doing all this work on yourself and you're happy and you're truly at peace, you want that reciprocated before anybody just comes into your life and takes up space. Yeah, this woman has literally a fundamental misunderstanding of how relationships work. Like, she's literally working from, like, a very, very flawed understanding of it. She's – if she ever does get into a relationship, I, I would struggle for that. I think that relationship would struggle to um, be cohesive at the, the way that she's thinking about stuff. Like, at this point, I love being single. Um, and That I, said nobody, bro. I like being in a relationship if – it is a healthy relationship, but most people's relationships aren't even healthy because yeah, she, most people... I'm sick of people going like, most people have this relationship. Most people have that relationship, dude. Okay, look, work on yourself, fine. But like the way you're looking at it right now is basically like, well, I know that people have bad relationships. So I just want to be in a bad relationship because I'm never, I'm not even going to try because so many people already have bad relationships. Like that's terrible, dude. Get, 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 get shit together. Are not even healthy with themselves. So I say all this to say, just because you see people in a relationship doesn't really mean anything because most people have no business being with anybody, but they're attached onto that person and they're just going with it. And honestly, most of them are miserable. And you really look around and you feel really bad for them because you're at peace. Oh, yeah. And they're at war. Yeah, Every you're at peace when you're making a video talking about how you can't find people to be with. <laughs> you're totally at peace. Three. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. So if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all of those things I'd appreciate tremendously. I want to thank everybody that's a member. If you want to become a member of the channel, you can totally do that by clicking the subscribe button and then hitting the join notification right after that. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You being here is so valuable. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I really do appreciate you tremendously. If you guys watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in tissue because I really think that these people are going to need those tissues for the crying and then also the cleanup of just forever beating off because these people are not going to be able to find relationships with the mentalities that they have or they're working under. But uh, I know that you have better mentalities and I know that you're not going to be as restrictive on certain things and bestow upon the things that you want in yourself onto what other people want. I know you're going to work off of what they want and they're going to work based off of you and that's going to be awesome because that's how relationships really work, by the way. You get the person what they want. You don't get the person what you think you want and then you give them that. No, that's not how that works. They're not you. You are you and they are them and you are going to do something for them, right? That's what's really important. And I know that you have communication issues issues sometimes and you're working on that that's really really powerful that's really really great it takes a very very powerful person to understand their problems their deficiencies and work towards solving those things or at least trying to make them better and that's really 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 valuable matter of fact and it's really great that you are the person that is willing to make those commitments and willing to make those changes and that's really really beautiful and by the way speaking of beautiful that skin oh it's glowing it's beautiful it's amazing your hair your eyebrows your muscles those big biceps are looking really really good but anyway, guys, 
We're getting the video here. If you want to check out any of my social medias, they'll be linked down below in the description and they'll be linked in the description for the channel. So if you want to check out any of that stuff, just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all this other stuff. So if you want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.